wants to cause us up, don't it? He wants us to be tough. Hey, but let me tell you, God, God loves us. He wants us to be tenderhearted. Right. He wants us to care about one another. Right. Right. Hey, and it's just the opposite. The devil wants you, wants to toughen you up, as they say. He wants you to, to not, not care for your neighbor. Maybe even to see your neighbor fall or go on. Hey, where if you see somebody uh, shot down in cold blood, where you're so tough, it don't even bother you. That's what the that's the goal that the devil sets you out for. But where God, God wants. Hey, he's just quite the opposite. He will come to you and say, hey, before that person passes away, you need to run over there and talk to them about right. Jesus. You need to run over there and see if there's something you can do because, hey, and the Word is life, hey, buddy. The Word is life, amen. Amen, amen. let me back up just a little bit. <clears throat> he he gives power to the, to the faint. Verse 29. He gives he give power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the youth and the young man shall utterly fall. Hey, but let me read that verse one more time again. Verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord. So many times we want to get in front of the Lord, don't we? But they that wait upon the Lord. Amen. They that wait upon the Lord they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as evil uh, as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. Oh, ain't the Lord good? Hey, the Lord is awesome and He is good. Amen. Amen. Let me read just a, uh, another scripture right over here, uh, verse forty-two. I think there, uh, uh, verse six. The next chapter over, verse forty-two, verse six. Uh, chapter forty-two, verse six. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness and will hold thine hand. Amen. Ain't that a good thing to hear right there? Amen. That the Lord will hold your hand? Hey, sometimes we feel like we out here all on our own, don't we? Hey, let me tell you, it's good to feel the power of the Lord, ain't it? It's good when you feel those chin bumps run up the side of your neck and feel like every hair on your head stands up. Now, that's good. And that's sure is sweet to feel that. But, hey, whenever the chill bumps ain't there, whenever you don't feel that there, that don't mean God ain't there, does it? Hey, he says he'll hold her hand. Hey, I remember being a parent uh, uh, to my son there, and I remember him being a little bitty fool, a little bitty fellow about the size of Isaiah here. And I remember me walking with him and, and us crossing streets and things, and us uh, me uh, holding to his hand. Amen. I remember sometimes when we'd get to a mud hole, he'd just reach up with both hands and hang on to mine and just kind of swing across them. But sometimes that's the way. Hey, man, anybody know what I'm talking about there? Yeah. Sometimes that's the way we got to do with the Lord, ain't it? Yeah. Sometimes whenever the trouble comes up and the mud hole comes along in front of us, we got to reach up with both hands and swing across that thing. Hey, because the Lord is God, I say. Let me tell you, He won't never let us down. He Amen. promised He'd never leave us, never forsake us. He'd go with us all the way, even to the very end. Hey, and let me tell you, hey, He has never let me down. He has never let me down. Oh, hallelujah. He will hold thine hand and will keep thee and give thee and give thee for a covenant for the people for a lot of the Gentiles to open the blind eyes to bring out the prisoners from the prison and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Amen. I am the Lord. That is my name and my glory will I not give to another. Amen. Neither my praise to graven images. Amen. Hey, brother, the Lord is serious about this, ain't he? The Lord, he, hey, he, he won't share the spotlight with nobody. With nobody, hey, he won't. You do your research, you won't find a place where God shares his glory with anybody. He, every prophet, every person always points to him. They make it clear and plain. Hey, don't worship me. I'm but just a vessel. Hey, even even Moses, whenever he led God's children out of the promised land, hey, there came a time even whenever he was leading them through the wilderness, there came a time, hey, whenever they went through some dry places, there was no water to be found. In fact, the, the, the promised land was just ahead. And they was like, why has, have you and God brought us out here to die? And then the Lord told them, hey, he says, go take your staff, go up there, speak to this rock, tell it to give him some water. He went up there and he says, what am I to do with you rebellious people to give you water? And he strikes the thing with his staff and stayed three times. And the, the Lord still honored that. The Lord still let water come out of that, enough to all of them to drink and, and for their flocks. 
But the Lord told him later on, he said, you won't be able to enter into the, to the promised land. He said, you'll be able to go up and you'll see it. But, but hey, I won't share my glory with nobody. Oh, buddy. I'm just a willing and usable vessel. I'm nothing special. If there's anything nice about me, anything good about me, it's the Lord. It's the Lord. Hey, and let me tell you what he's done for me. I know he can do for each and every one of you. Hey, he saved me from certain death. He saved me from certain destruction. Hey, and I know that he has got everything in, in control. So many times he comes to me and he lets me know that he holds every moment of every hour of every day of my life in my hand, in his hand, and he controls every atom and every molecule. Hey, God created him. Hey, he created the heavens and stretched them out. He made the earth and hung it out on nothing. Tell me, hey, ain't that nice to be able to, to get a hold of God, the one that did all that, the one that, that made the heavens, the earth, and hung it on nothing. And we can have a personal relationship with Him. He can hold our hand. He can make it, hey, can lead us and guide us through any problem that we got in this life. Let me tell you, there ain't no protection like His protection. Amen. Amen. Let me go just a little bit further. I got just a a little bit, uh, a little bit more uh, scripture here that, that I feel like the, the Lord has has given me. Forty three ten. Let's see if I can find it. Ye are, ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servants, whom I have chosen. Amen. Hasn't He chosen us? Amen. Many are called, but few are chosen. That was good, brother. That ye may be known. And believe me, and un and understand that I am He. Before me there was no God formed. Let me read that again. Before me there was no God formed. Neither shall there be after me. Amen. Amen. The, the same God. Hey, that was back then. Is still the same God today. The same God that fearfully, wonderfully created you and you and you and you in your mother's womb and got a plan for you is still the one that's sitting on the throne today. That's still the one that's calling the shots today. He's still the one that's protecting you today. And I'm telling you, God's got something for you. Hey, He loves His children and He knows how to give us good gifts. Us, us, the Word talks about us as being evil. Think we know how to give gifts, good gifts to our children. But God knows how to give good gifts to our children. Hey, I've seen it done time and time again. I have seen uh, people give gifts to their children. Love them. I mean, love them to death and, and just give to them and give them something that will turn right around and kill them. Hey, God will never give you something that will kill you. God will never give you nothing but good. He came to give us life and to give it more abundantly. Amen. Hey, amen. But I've seen that happen. I've seen people give to their kids till they kill them. We got to be careful what we give our kids. Don't we we got to be careful. Amen. Let me read that verse 11. I, even I, am the Lord. And besides me, there is no Savior. Amen. Ain't God good? Yes. Amen. I got just a, just a little bit more there. Just uh, I think it's 55. Lord, let me. Yep. Actually, the last verse there in 54 first. Now, this is one of his promises. And this is how protected we are. If, you, if you're wondering about just how protected we are, let me read this here. Verse, uh, chapter 54, verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Amen. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Amen. Hey, buddy, let me tell you, if I don't make you feel good, I don't know about you. You need to check your pulse, because let me tell you, hey, that right there is talking about the great creator is watching over us. Hey, hey, they ain't a weapon formed. Hey, they can prosper against his children. I've heard different testimonies and I've heard different people say things how somebody has come at them with something, uh, some type of a weapon. One that sticks out in my mind is, is, is Brother John Hagee. I don't know, have any of you all ever heard his testimony? Hey, uh, years ago, hey, he he was preaching in, in, in his church, a big, large church. This man comes down the side next to the wall 
up to the amen corner there and pulls a gun out hey, to one of the deacons and makes him get up there behind John Hagee and he says, I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot both of you. And, and, and everybody in the congregation is, is trying to get out of there and, and, and it's almost mass hysteria and makes everybody sit still. And he gets right in front of the pulpit there and, and, and the fellow, the, the deacon gets behind John Hagee. And I don't know if y'all know John Hagee. He's a pretty good sized fellow. He's a big, he's a big target. And this, this fellow, he says, I've got a gun here and I'm going to shoot you. John Hagee holds up the Bible. He says, I've got the Bible here. Hey, and the Bible says that no weapon formed against me is going to prosper. And the man said, I'm going to shoot. He said, I've got this Bible. And his man unloads a point blank at John Hagee. And the, he, John Hagee said that the Lord come to him and said, don't move. Don't move a muscle. Hey, sometimes we got to stand still yeah. and see the salvation of the yeah. Lord. Yeah. Let me tell you, that man stood right in front of him, point blank, and he emptied that gun out, and not a bullet hit him. Hey, buddy, yeah. let me tell you, that's God. Amen. That is God. That is God. That is God. And the same God that did that is, hey, he is able to protect us and to keep us. He is able more than able. He made us more than overcomers. He made us the head and not the tail. God is able to keep us when we can't keep ourselves. Whenever the doctor gives us a bad diagnosis, hey, no matter what it is, whenever we get some bad news from the boss, whatever it is, we got to be laid off. Hey, let me tell you, God has got you if we will put our faith in Him and seek Him wholeheartedly. Amen. God is good. Amen. Verse Chapter 55, verse 1. I'll try to go ahead and finish up and We'll see. We'll see what the Lord has in store. Chapter 55. Oh, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. Amen. Ain't that good? Amen. Everyone that thirsteth. Anybody in here ever been thirsty? <laughs> and I mean really thirsty. Anybody ever been really, really thirsty? Amen. He says, come on. Hey, if you're thirsty, come on. Everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the water. And he that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Amen. Ain't that good? This is a free gift. Hello. It's a free gift. The Lord let us kind of touch on that last night. If you could go out to the store and buy a bottle of, 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 of the blood of Jesus, I believe they would wipe it off the ship. I think people be stockpiling it. They be holding it up and hoarding it. Hey, it's kind of like the 22 bullets was just about a year or two ago. Well, you couldn't buy a 22 bullet, it didn't seem like, for no amount of money. You couldn't find one. Hey, but let me tell you, the blood of Jesus is so precious. Hey, it's so precious, and it's the only thing that can redeem our soul. Hey, where we can stand before the throne of God. Hey, hey be able to stand there with no sin on us. That's the only thing. Where, do, Verse 2. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? And your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me. And eat ye that which is good. And let your soul delight itself in fatness. Amen. Amen. Ain't it good whenever you come in and you're hungry and you look and there's... There's a table spread. I, I mean, it's probably got your favorite thing on it. And boy, you but man, I'm hungry. And ain't it good to be able to pull yourself up and underneath the table and be able just to, to, to dig in, as they say, just fall right into it. But that's what the Lord is saying here. The Lord is there. Hey, He is here for us. All we got to do, just like the brother said, hey, he says, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. If any man open unto me, I will come in and I will sup with him and him with me. It's a free gift. It's a free gift. Verse 3. Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. And even the sure mercies of David. Amen. Amen. Let me flip on over there uh, or go down just a little bit to verse 6. Now listen here. 